In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the configuration and deployment of Chem360 Central in AWS. Before we get started, let's ask the question of what is Chem360 Central? Chem360 Central provides customers with the centralized management required to operate their application delivery infrastructure, whether running just Loadmaster line of ADCs or multi-vendor environments. Customers running their applications across multiple sites and or clouds can gain real-time visibility with Chem360 single pane of glass and application delivery dashboard. This is in order to provide those insights to status and performance metrics every customer is looking for. The centralized configuration management provides consistency and reduced implementation errors along with roles-based access allowing for that granular control over the customer's application delivery infrastructure. Deploying Chem360 in AWS consists of only a few steps. First, we have the option to select which region 360 Central should be deployed. For this demo, we'll create the instance in East Coast. Next, we just select Services and under Compute, choose EC2. Select Launch Instance, and then AWS Marketplace. Here we can search the AWS Marketplace for Chem360. And we'll see that there's two options for deploying Chem360 in AWS. First, we have the standard BYOL option. Kemp also provides 360 Central for MILA, or Metered Licensing Agreement. This is Kemp's consumption-based licensing model, which will allow the customer to deploy and pay for services based on usage. This demonstration, I'll choose BYOL. At first, you're presented with some pricing details, in which you can select Continue. Now a size must be selected for the instance. I'll just keep the default of M4 Large and select Next to configure the instance details. Here we can select a network and subnet to deploy the instance to, as well as some other options such as IP addressing and monitoring. Once again, we can just select Next, which will bring us to the storage. For Chem360 Central, I can leave the default since we don't need to add any additional storage. And then under Tags, I can create a new tag for the name of our Chem360 Central instance, and then move on to Security Groups. There are some default rules already created based on the requirements of 360 Central you have the opportunity to limit the networks that have access, but for this demonstration, we'll leave it open to any network. All that's left to do is to review and launch the new instance. We see some warnings since I did not restrict the access to specific networks, but I have the options to update these settings as well as the others. But everything looks good to go, so we'll just launch the instance. I just need to select my existing key pair, which is used to secure the environment when connecting via SSH, for example. Now the instance is launching and I can view the status while it spins up. The instance will start off as pending, but after a couple minutes, the status will update to running and the checks will report back as healthy. And here we can find the public IP address assigned to access Chem360 Central. We just need to copy this. We'll paste it into our browser using HTTPS. We can safely ignore the security warning since the certificate on Chem360 doesn't match the IP address we're using to connect. Selecting Continue will bring you to our end user license agreement. So we'll just go ahead and accept the license. And now we just enter our Kemp ID and password to activate the license. A new secure password is required for the default admin account. Now we can just log in with admin and our new password. First, we're brought to the welcome page where you can begin to add your application delivery controllers. As of today, Kemp supports Nginx, HAProxy, AWS ELB, and F5 Big IP, and of course, Loadmaster. So we'll add Loadmaster using the IP address. We can keep the default port, username and password, as well as a nickname for our new ADC. The option to enter SMTP settings to receive emails and alerts regarding events is also on the welcome page, but you can return here to enter this information later. Moving on to the device and network management, we can see that the Loadmaster has been added and a list of all the services and system resources are now available through Chem360 Central. The network metrics for the Loadmaster are also beginning to fill in. Under system configuration, we have the option to create new virtual services, 
update or delete existing virtual services. We can use VS Motion during migrations to move or copy virtual services between Loadmasters managed through Chem360 Central. Or going into the system configuration, we can manage other aspects of our ADC, such as reboots, deploying application-specific templates, firmware updates, or scheduling backups for our ADC. Moving back to the device and network administration, you can begin to populate Chem360 Central with additional ADCs and networks that are within your environment. Then have the ability to get a snapshot of the health of your entire ADC infrastructure from the Chem360 Global Dashboard. Now there are so many more features to discuss, but hopefully this demonstration gives you an idea of how Chem360 Central deployed in AWS can help you manage your ADC infrastructure. For more information, please visit KempTechnologies.com and thank you for watching.